Welcome to this instructional video using local data and the downloader. Both of these items are new to Metastock version 15. So your first question that you might have is what is local data? And the short answer is it's just data that you stored or saved to the hard drive of your computer. So the second question or follow-up question to that might be well why would you want to do that or use that? And there's a number of reasons or answers to that, but one very popular answer to that is it's great for travel. Maybe you don't have a consistent connection to the internet, or maybe you don't want to be connected to the internet all the time. What's nice about that is you can download as much data as you want to your hard drive, and then you can use it at any time that you like, whether or not you are connected. And maybe you don't even have Reuters data link to begin with. And if that's the case, you can get data in just about any type of form and convert it and use it now inside of Metastock 15. So let me show you how we can work with this inside of Metastock. Now inside of Metastock 15, when you first open up the Power Console, you'll notice that you now have a folder called Local Data Lists. And when you're getting started, of course, you're not going to have any data in it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some local data files and then I'll show you how to open them up inside of Metastock. So step one is we're going to open up what's called the downloader. Now the downloader is what's new to Metastock. You'll find the downloader icon right up here at the very top or you can also go to the tools and select the downloader from this drop down list. Either way it'll open up the downloader for you. Now once it opens up you should have the downloader console open. If not or you don't see this let me show you how you open it up. You just click on this D button over here on the far left hand side. Just click on that and that will open up this console. Now inside this console this is where you can choose to download your data and or convert it. So the first thing what we're going to do we're going to create a data file from scratch. And the way to do that is you begin by clicking on the add button up here at the top. Now where I'm going to keep these files is underneath another folder called Metastock Data. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder. And to do that, I'll just right click anywhere inside this window. I'll click on the New button and choose Folder. Then I'll give it a name and I'm going to call this Utilities 15. So I'll select it and then click on Select Folder down here at the bottom. Now you'll see I've got a new folder underneath my Metastock data folder and it's called Utilities 15. It says 0 of 0 so the first thing I need to do is I need to add the securities to this folder. To do that just right click directly on it and choose Create New Security. Now inside this window is where we can do it a couple different ways. If I click on the Look Up button right here I can pick individual securities one at a time by doing a lookup underneath symbol, the name, or I can do some searches as well. Otherwise, if I want to choose from a list, I can click on this multiple securities here and then click on lookup. Now what this is going to do is this is going to allow me to search the different folders that I already have set up inside of Metastock. So for example, if I've already got a list of securities that I want to grab out of this index constituents folder, I'll just open it up and select it. So here's my Dow Jones Utilities and this is the one that has those 15 stocks. So I'll go ahead and put a check mark there and then I'll click on select. And then down here I can choose the intervals and the first date that I'm going to actually download up through. So in this case you can see I've got September 26 of 2011. That's fine. That'll give us about five years of data and I'm going to grab daily data. Once I've got this set up the way that I want, I'll click on OK and that'll set up the folder for me. Now you'll see I've got the folder set up and now I have 0 of 15. So what that means is that I don't have any of these securities selected. And I can select them individually or I can just put a check mark in this box right up here at the main folder. And by doing that, that'll select all 15 securities. Next, I want to go ahead and download the data. I'll click on download and this will begin the download process directly from Reuters data link. You'll see that it actually goes through very quickly and I've already grabbed 1285 records on these 15 stocks. So once that's completed, I'll click on close and now you'll see I've got all these different securities and this is the data that I have underneath each one. Next, let's go ahead and see how to open this up inside of Metastock. 
So to do that, I'll get out of the downloader here. And underneath my Power Console inside of Metastock, you'll see again that I've got a local data list. And again, I still don't have anything underneath here, so I have to set up or tell it where that local data file resides. So to do that, you can open it up a couple different ways. You can right click on it and you can choose manage custom lists or you can just double click on it and that'll open up this new custom list folder for us. Now from here I'll click on the browse button and I'll just navigate to where my folder resides. So down here at the very bottom I'll click on browse and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my C drive and underneath that I want to open up my Metastack data folder and underneath my Metastack data folder is the new folder I created called Utilities 15. So I'll go ahead and highlight that and click on Select Folder down here at the bottom. You'll see that that'll add all the securities. Click on Add and then click on Save. Now if I look at my local data list here again, now you'll see I've got my 15 stocks underneath that particular folder called Utilities 15. And from here we can do anything we want. If we want to just open up the securities, we can back test them, we can scan on them. Again, whatever you want to do with the securities at that point. Next, let's look at the scenario that you have an older version of Metastock data that was created in version 11 or earlier and you want to use it in the new Metastock version 15. If that's the case, you have two different options. Number one, you can continue to update your data exactly how you've always have done it and you can just access those securities directly inside of Metastock 15 and let me show you how to do that. In this example, I have some Metastock data files that I want to access inside of version 15 but the hitch is, is that I created these data files with version 11. Any Metastock data files that were created with earlier versions are considered to be legacy data files. So let me show you how to work with a legacy data file. So the first thing we can do is we can just tell Metastock 15 where those legacy data files are and we can just read them directly. So to point the program in the right direction, I'll just double click on my local data list up here. Again, this is going to open up my new custom list and from here I'm going to browse to where those files are located. So as you can see, this opened up the last folder that we created. So again, I'm going to click on the Browse button in the lower right-hand corner, and I'm going to select the folder. This time I'm going to select the S&P 500-HA, which is an abbreviation for Heiken Ashi. I'll click on Select Folder, and as you can see, they've been selected here inside this window, and over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the type says Metastock Legacy. If you're happy with that selection, just click on Add, and then click on Save. And now you'll see that this folder has been added to our local data list. And if you want to open up any of the securities, just go ahead and select it. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Heiken Ashi template to it. Go ahead and select it and click on Open Chart. And as you can see, Metastock 15 handles those legacy data files fine. And you can see that I've got my Heiken Ashi chart, everything's working correctly. And again, this was created in version 11. And to keep this local data file current, all I would do is keep updating it the way that I always have. And then getting back to our question is that we have Metastock version 11 data and we want to update it or use it in Metastock 15. So again, our first option is is that we can open it directly inside of Metastock 15 and update it the way that we've always updated it and Metastock 15 will then be able to access that information. But if you want to use the new downloader then you'll have to convert the data to the new Metastock 15 format. So in order to convert it to the new format let me show you how to do that. So we've got our Metastock data files that were created in version 11 and we want to update them using the new downloader. So step one is we have to open up our downloader. Next thing is we want to click on this convert button over here on the left hand side. And from here we need to point to where that data file is located. So over here on the right hand side I'll click on browse and I'm just going to navigate to it. So I've got a folder here called Dow 30 stocks. Again these were created with version 11 
and I want to update them with the version 15 downloader. I'll select that and click on the select folder button down here at the bottom. Now you'll see I've got it selected and it says 30 of 30, so all 30 are selected. And what's important that the file type is selected as legacy. You'll see that depending on where you're converting from or the type of data format, you have to make sure that you have the right selection. And again, if it's old Metastock data, it's called legacy data. And what it's going to be converted into is the new Metastock local data format. So I'll make sure that that's selected. And then underneath that, you have to tell it where this new data folder is going to reside. Now with the current version of this downloader, Unfortunately, you can't put the data into the same folder that you're converting from. What you need to do is you need to create a new folder for it. So to do that, I'll click on Browse. And to create a new folder, I'll right click, choose New Folder. I'll give it a name. And I'm just going to call it Dow Version 15. I'll then click somewhere else. Make sure that I have it highlighted and then click on select folder. Then to complete the conversion process, just click on the convert button in the lower right hand corner. Once your files have been converted, you can close down the report. And then to view them inside of Metastock, we just need to add that new folder to our local data list. So again, I'll double click on my local data list, click on browse. I'll navigate again to where this new folder was created and I called it the DAO version 15 so I'll go ahead and select that click on select folder add and save and again I have a new folder underneath my local data list now called the DAO version 15 and with this these local data files now can all be updated using the new version of the downloader So I hope that this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know.